Horus, how you doing guys? So we are here from the 14th until the 31st. Now this is not you, Taurus, but I have been slated 14, 14, 14 on my clock on my computer. <laughs> so I don't want to have to start this one again. Five, five, five. <laughs> Johnny Five, keep the spirit alive. Keep high vibrations. What we want, Taurus, is high vibrations. And I like the best outcome for everybody. I really do. But I am literally just a spirit channeler. <laughs> I really am. And my ego's not there when I channel whatever comes out through cards. And I don't know, the Scorpio reading, there was like 12, oh, I don't know, like 10,000 views within two days. And I got told to fuck off in more ways than one. <laughs> it's like, I can't help what comes out through cards. It's you lot that are putting the energy out. It's coming back to me. It's to me to you. <laughs> it's to me to you. You know, <laughs> I don't think some people do know. I can't help that. But anyway, Taurus, how are you doing? I apologise for my little rant, but let's go from the 14th and the 31st to Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What's happening with Taurus? From the, from the 14th to the 31st of August, please, Taurus. Show me Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Thank you. So, nine. Okay, nine is obviously could be overanalyzing a situation of whether to whether it's ended or whether it's not ended whether it's ended or not ended this can be stress work relief and this could even well be them taurus it's just where just things are just accumulated in the mind obviously okay but when you're going through if you're going through a lot of karma then obviously that's why this does appear this doesn't always appear of a sleepless night it's just can mean just general worry and stress in life altogether you know but it approaches, there's an approaching energy of how things to appear as the truth. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Someone's running. This is the chaser and the runner. 16, 16, 6 and 1, 7. It's just, it's a, rep it's a repetitive cycle that someone's caught in. Um, it's, it's. Someone, someone could really be like blaming somebody for something, which is like they could have a fiery temper, which is just like, I mean, this can just be literally family in general. And you're going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards to work, to home, to work, to home, to work, to home, to work. Now, it depends where people are, but... But you could have someone that... Um, is untrustworthy or you don't trust and it could be a Sagittarius maybe or it's like running backwards and forwards backwards and forwards backwards and forwards you got Sagittarian someone's trying to pour their heart out but someone's not interested in what they've got to say somebody feels that they have to remain quiet because when they do talk that someone's got a fiery nature or a fiery temper or that they just won't listen whoever this is whoever this is for it's it's kind of like well, every time I try to talk to you, you just run from actually listening to what I've got to say. I've got something to say, but when I try to say it, you pretty much just don't want to listen. You don't want to listen when I'm trying to talk to you. Why is it that when I'm trying to talk to you, you actually blame me for it? You know, there's a bit of a, a mirror where someone is trying their best, but it could be draining their fire. You see, it could be draining one's energy. There's a draining energy, and this is, can re be reflectant of the family or the situation that is held within you, Taurus, or within them, or both of you, you know, within both of you. Because someone's trying to catch up. It's like, I'm trying to catch up, I'm trying to catch up, but, like, I've got so much to do, I've got so much to do, but it's not leaving enough time for your partner. You know, it's not leaving enough time for your partner. So time after time, the only time that you probably get to spend together is when you're spent out. You know, when you're spent out or you're worked out, or that you're trying to, someone's trying to work something out or figure something out, equations or figures, but someone's trying to figure something out, but they're probably trying to figure you out. That's what I'm saying. There's a mirror that is happening between soulmate energy, okay, where they're trying to figure you out of why this is happening, of why is it that when I try to talk to you, you just run off. This is like a run off energy. So if you're together with your partner and you're in a relationship, every time you try to talk to them, they run off. And then at night time, when you probably do get chance to speak, this is when it's like you just can't speak. You're just probably just too tired and too over emotional. Uh, well, not over emotional. It can just be that just someone. See, it could be this energy here. If this is your partner and they're Sagittarius, okay, it can be that their 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 passion for life gets to the point where they just feel tired, tired. So this can also be you. 
because you're reflectant of your soulmate. So if someone tries to pour their heart out, but when they do, they try to speak something or say something, it's like what they feel is, is that no one's really interested in what they've got to say because it's like, no, I don't want to know. I've just got something to do. I'm off. Like, you know, it can be that energy, you know, too, is what I'm picking up. Um, because it, it, it feels like someone feels like you're not owning up to someone, to some to opening up. It can be that, that you're not opening up. This can be running from something, but that can be running from opening up, from actually speaking the truth. Then what happens is an argument causes and it rises, it rises and rises and rises to the point where it's just like, oh, just, you know, every time I try to say something, you don't want to listen. Or when I do, you snap. You know, and why is that? It's because it's a blame game. It's where you, this person can blame them and this person can blame you. You know, it's a mirror reflection of love and hate. Love and hate. It's like a love and hate relationship. Trying to balance out one's energy, but you only do that when you see this is a working relationship. This is a working relationship, anything. Time works for you. You don't work for time. There's loads of time. There's not loads of time of life expectancy, but there's loads of time up in the vibration of the earth is just metaphysics. It just goes on and on and on and on. It's the frequency of what we relate ourselves at. So when you make time for oneself to become more relaxed, okay, then, and your energy is then replenished, then you can think more clearly. But because it seems like someone's running out of time, it's like you're not making time work for you. You're working for time. You know, you're working for time. You're running out of time. It's like someone's running it. It's like someone's running out of time all the time. <laughs> Sorry, what am I picking this up? Yeah, I think someone's from Pink Floyd. <laughs> but it's like someone's running out of time all the t all the time. And then every time they run out, it's like, where, where, where have you gone now? You know, where have you gone now? Why are you not? Why are you just? Why can you not just relax? Is what I'm hearing some people say. Why can't you just relax? Now this can be you or your partner or them saying it or, or anybody. Because everybody says that the seven is always a devious energy. It's not always a devious energy. This could be just someone that's extremely busy. You know, it still talks about a lot of learning about you know, out here, out here is when you become more centered and relaxed to let time work for you and not run out of time. If you think that you're running out of time, then what's the life expectancy? It can never be put on anybody, but the life expectancy gets put on someone when you're tense. If you're living in the tense, present tense, and you're tense, <laughs> then you're creating and manifesting a tense relationship, not a present tense of a relaxed relationship where it starts to become more calm. Because the present tense is where you are relaxed, centered, seven, centering yourselves between yourselves, working things out, working around a relationship. You work around a five, you don't run from seven. <laughs> you know, someone's trying to run. It's like, you know, you got the chase. A lot of you, if you're on the soulmate relationship, you're on the chasing and running, the chasing and running, the backwards and forwards, the backwards and forwards. And what it's doing is it's making you feel really tired, really oppressed, okay, where it suppresses and oppresses your energy. And then all of a sudden it's like a bottle top where you're like, Phew! it's like fucking hell. What the hell the hell did you just react to me? Well, it was you. But yeah, but you don't do the things that I want you to do or want you to be. Well, it's because you don't talk and you run, you know, you get into that dynamic. It's a dynamic where there's a cross comparison of someone's energy gets drained by someone pulling it away from them but not listening to them but then this person can lose their fire bottle top explosion this energy then runs from this energy when it gets uh can be fiery nature and like over aggressive if it's a woman it could be when the time of the month all that sort of stuff if it's in a relationship and then all of a sudden it's like Phew! All my fires come back, but you're having it because you're my partner. Okay, my partner. It's like a forcing energy pushes this person runs into worrying about it, but they probably don't own up the fact that they're actually worrying about it. That's what you're in a dynamic. You know, you know, someone's not owning up to the fact that it is really bothering them, and it's probably really bothering the both of you. You know, it's a reflectant of the same thing. So. Let's see. So it is. It is that because this energy, can't, it can be like a bottle top, like, and it pushes this energy away to not own up to something that this person won't own up to. But this person thinks that this person's not owning up to something. But you're both doing the same. It's trust, a trusting bond. You know, 
trusting bond. It's like a bank of trust. It's like, you know, you So there you go, it's obviously all to do with renovating the home, renovating the house, a house, a soulmate relationship, a house where the family resides, projects, anything to do with a house or, uh, I'm picking up like renovations and stuff, or it's just like, or going backwards and forwards to work. Like you're probably both separated within 11-11, so you're both aligned on the dark side or the light side, right? So you've still got, it's like, it's obviously you know what's going on. It's like you're going to work and blah, blah, blah. This person is in the middle. They're caught in the middle like a, like a wife at home or someone at home here, like a Sagittarian or someone that looks after the home. The female energy would look after the home and the children and all that kind of stuff and make things, everything's nice. You know, and then all of a sudden, this person does, it, it, that same dynamic happens. And it's all because of like families that are involved or children that are involved, work, residential areas, projects, things, feelings, thoughts and feelings. But there's no like, there's feelings. But I think that this Sagittarian energy for a lot, all of you, some of you is trying to pour their heart out. But when they feel that they're expressing emotion, emo like feeling, this person gets into their head about emotion. It's like, Motion, emotion. <laughs> Someone's confused about their emotions. It's like they won't show their tentative side of their true nature, is what I'm kind of really picking up. This person can show their true nature through their feelings and expression of, of how they love and all that kind of stuff, and it can do. But this person, whoever this person is, kind of runs from, like, the feeling, the, the when we start to talk about our feelings, like love and how we love each other and what we would do for one another. You probably do do that in your relationship, but at the moment what it seems like is that there's so much going on is that when somebody wants to talk about their feelings, someone doesn't want to admit about their feelings, but they sit up in their head about it and they worry about it probably on their own. They probably don't have to be at night. But when they go to work or when they get overstressed, they start to think and they start to worry. And it's pro or not even that. But they probably just start to overanalyze. Well, why, why, you know, <laughs> but why, but why, why do you want to talk about your feelings? Because I love you. Yeah, but why, why? <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it could, this could even be children and stuff that are around you, you know. But why? Why do you want to talk about feelings? I want to talk about where we're going in life and what we're going to do and go on holiday and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, why is it that you're not leaving time for me? That's what it's picking up. It's time. It's all swords of time. But everything's time. But swords are more metaphysical time of thought. So it's how you manifest things, of being centered. But when you're, like, sporadic, you're not working around time you're working for it you know time works around you it always goes around and around but if you run around and around in circles <laughs> where are you going backwards and forwards you know let's see Let's carry on this story for Taurus. but a lot of you probably won't be relating to that and you probably will have someone around you that you really can't trust and that they're I don't think it's a stealing. I think it's a stealing of energy, put it that way. I think it's a draining energy, but I don't think they're untrustworthy. If they're untrustworthy and you're saying that they are, then they are. But I'm thinking that it's more of a draining energy. It's a pull. It's like a pull of one's energy away when they run away. This person gets over emotional and they get drained and they're wondering why. But why is the reason because this person's not admitting about their feelings and their thoughts. Their thoughts may be yes, but their thoughts could be that this person doesn't like how they can get like uh, like a teasing, like an argumentative energy, you know, an argumentative energy, but more of a nurturing energy. I'm picking this up as the male and the female, really, for a lot of you. <clears throat> like masculine and feminine. So then you've got Libra in the mix as well. So some of you could have this in your chart. Or this is a lot to do with uh, work. Work. People that work for the sick or people that work in a clinic or people that work for lawyers or solicitors or they own their own business or it's literally just a Libra. 
but there needs to be some kind of equilibrium between balance between both of you <laughs> because it's air it's air. There's there's a there's an air of the throne. <laughs> Sorry, you might be saying, well, they're the air of the throne. <laughs> now, or someone could literally be an heir, an heir, like to something. Like, could have a lot of property value because this would represent values and vows. So it could be a marriage. You could be married to somebody, or you want to get married to someone, or you do. But this would represent vows. Okay, vows. But it's also beyond the veil, too, because it's justice, it's karma. So it's behind the veil of our vows of this marriage here, because this also represents marriage, that someone is married, or they want to get married. If you are married, that's what's happening. If you want to get married, this person, you might be fearing that they're going to run out and they're not going to turn up to the wedding, for some of you. Or it could just literally be, I'm run ragged because I'm running out of time because I am getting married. <laughs> you know, There's a few spins to different people on different timelines. But some of you could be getting married or on holiday or something or renovating the home. But it's like, I'm running out of time because I'm getting married. <laughs> what am I going to wear? Jesus, what am I going to wear? What am I going to do? I'm now worrying about it. What are you worrying about? <laughs> what are you worrying about? Stop worrying. Stop manifesting it into reality. It's not happened yet. <laughs> so, But for some of you, you want to get married to this person. But they seem to be running like running. That's, that's just for a very small percentage, I'm feeling. But there's a chaser and a runner for a lot of you that are in this spiritual soulmate wondering what the fuck all these numbers and everything is about and this calling and you know i still have to tend to people that are really just finding their way you know i do i can't <clears throat> let's have a look continue on this story you could have it could be children that are involved sex and stuff and passion and all that. So you've got destiny. So it's a destined fate event that this is going to happen, obviously. But it's still, you know, a Saturnian card. It's the want. Somebody wants it all to go in their favour. You've got two Saturnian cards: justice and the wheel of fortune of favour. <laughs> in one favour and out of another. So. That depends on whether that's going... It feels like it's going in this one's favour. It's like this one is like, well, I know this is going in my favour. <laughs> and this one's saying, no, oh, oh it goes in my favour. There's like a pulling energy of like someone is trying to control the hands of destiny. Where this person can feel like they they can actually turn back the hands of time of things that they've done and said. It's kind of like, you know, oh shit, I've done that. Oh shit, I said that. Well you know <laughs> but it's like you can't take back words that have been done and said it's still metaphysics it's out there it's in the universe it's the same of how you manifest reality what you put out is what you get back what you think is what you get back what you feel is what you get back if you remain positive you get positive if you don't you get the other end of the scale so there's someone that says things or does things that they may either mean or they do and they're completely off the rail or some people they just don't mean it but they just say it before they speak Okay, so what is happening is, is that there's a return of an investment of karma. Okay, so someone's going to get a return of something in a big way. Or someone could be returning. If you haven't met, seen this person for a while, they could well be returning. You know, they're returning the favour as well. Returning the favour. It's like, you do me a favour, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And you might even be doing that on your wedding night for some people. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I love you a lot, but why is it that when you, I try to talk to you, you just don't own up to things and that you think that you can turn back time? I want to find a way. <laughs> I take back all the words that will hurt you. And you say, if I could turn back time, <laughs> right? If I could just turn back time, I would have admitted to this. But do I really want to? What do you want? Do you really, really want? What do you want? What do you really, really want? Do you want me? Do you want me? <laughs> or do you not? 
So what we're going to do is Taurus. I don't know if you're relating to that or not, okay? But um, now there's another, there's two projects now, tier one and tier two. If you want to join tier two, I've put it over on the discussion page. But tier two is uh, going into metaphysics, quantum physics, twin flames, soulmates, uh, the seven experience, mind expansion, uh, loads of old videos where I used to actually be on the camera and actually teach people about physical law, metaphysical law, time, uh, physics, card explanations, different stories, channeling, clairaudient with a plate, talking about time, how it's created, Lucifer, God, all that kind of stuff. Um, loads and loads and loads of hours of stuff that is already there and new visions that will be coming into fruition very soon because I've got some other projects that I really want to do. But I've just put up a load of videos all over there now. So that is for Tier 2. Tier 2, you get Tier 1 and Tier 2. So you'll still get all of these readings and all of those videos on there for Tier 2. And it really isn't much more than Tier 1, to be honest. But you'll get all those videos, plus more that's added, plus all of the extended readings of everything that you find on YouTube. If you just want to join tier one, it's just the extended readings of everything on YouTube, okay? So you've got options tier one or tier two. If not, you just want to watch this on Vimeo, it will be in the bi-weekly folder, okay? If you want a personal reading, the link is in the description for the email, you can send me an email, I'm actually taking bookings now and you can book you a reading. This may or may not relate to you, but I'm really excited about the project that I've got going with all the videos that I've got coming up because it explains things a lot of people could explain it, okay, but we're going to do a lot to do with law of attraction, keeping high vibration, how we actually really do that. We're looking to scribing and all loads and loads of stuff over there that I've got planned up that are also still there, okay. Um, but <clears throat> I'd like to delve into that, so I'm going to do some more things around that too when I have time. Um, but there are options there, you know, it dives into all kinds of things of triggering as well, of what to expect through relationships, karmic relationships twin flames, soulmates, what they really mean, triggering, action, response, all of that kind of stuff. It is there and there will be a lot more. Um, but there are options and they are all in the link below. So what we're going to do is also we're going to join one more card here for the seven. Okay, and then we're going to clarify these. But this is just literally the YouTube story. What these really mean and the greater perspective of what all this is going to mean for the rest of your month will only really tell me that when I start to clarify these cards and I'll give everybody's variable of work, money, career, love, anything, and all the guidance that will be added to that too, okay? But that is that. <laughs> Some people, this is where they're like, I can't believe that, blah, blah, blah. I, I just I just channel messages, Sora, so I can't even tell you your life if it's, you know, I can't. But the other side tells you a lot more. Some people I've seen that they've left a real bad comment with someone, and I'm like, well, have you seen the extended? And they don't even reply. It's like, well, you know, if you've not seen the extended version, you've got no idea what this is really about, <laughs> you know, or what happens, or what's going to happen, or what they're going through as well. You know, this can be you or them and what they're going through. I try to relate it all and look through a good vision, you know, so I give everybody everything. But all the links are below. Thanks very much, Taurus, and I'll catch you again soon. Have a good rest of your August. Peace.